Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Oh, my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading for June. Well, I guess it's, we're about to be getting into June, honey. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading, Gemini, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, Gemini, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. As well, I would like to ask if you enjoy this tarot uh, horoscope reading for you. I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, or you just enjoy my vibe, give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Also, remember, Gemini, that I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I promise you, Gemini. I believe that my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decisions in your life, Gemini, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So if you're ready to receive your reading today for your weekly horoscope, let's just go, honey. Uh, I pulled some cards already, Gemini, just to see where you guys are currently at in your path. We have the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands for you, the Two of Air or Two of Swords, the Three of Swords or Air, and then the Page of Water or the Page of Cups. So for you guys, Gemini, who you guys are in this process of... Um, it feels like someone or something brought some pain to you and um, but the whatever pain happened it kind of put gave you like the sense of an ultimatum where you kind of had to like make a decision and to like moving into like a new direction almost or where it's almost like this call a call to arms where something happened that kind of forced you to like maybe like pick up another job right um, because maybe some extra financial burdens happened. Um, maybe there's a situation of where uh, the people in your life that you have currently just were not fitting for you um, and that you needed to, you, now you have to go out and search for new friends, new people to open up to. Maybe a job thing as well, because the water card does represent um, opportunities as well. Regardless, something happened, Aquarius, uh, Aquarius, something happened, Gemini, that really had to, like, that put you in, forced you in this position of um, having to, like, boss up in some type of way, right? Having to step up to the plate. There was some type of responsibility being placed, extra responsibility, rather, Gemini, being placed on top of your shoulders that you are the one having to manage at this point. So let's start with this nine of fire or this nine of wands. This card says, don't give up, protect that which you've created and have courage and believe in yourself. Um, so Gemini, this let's get some cards on this right off the bat. I want to get a little bit more detail on like, what is this journey for you? Because I see the nine of wands as a card of, uh, it's a card where you go out on a journey for yourself, right? A soul seeking journey. And usually that journey kind of is, viewed as like, I view it as like a gauntlet where you're being presented with things that really build your character. <laughs> um, so let's get into this. Clarifiers I have King of Swords for you, Knight of Swords in the reverse, as well as the Temperance card. I'm going to just flip this card upright so you can still see the artwork of it, Gemini. But in this dynamic, I'm seeing this sense of where you're kind of having to just like ride something out. It's almost like you're just dealing with like I don't know if like people are like challenging you, Gemini, or people, or maybe just the universe itself is just challenging you, and where being like, how passionate is Gemini going to be? How sure of, is Gemini of themselves that they actually commit to this, right? So let's just say, for example, Gemini, you have had your heart set on living out of the, living in Maui, right? You had your heart set on living in Maui, and you started like framing your life in such a way of like being like existing in Maui but everyone in your life is just saying no Gemini you're crazy what have you you know you are kind of having to just like ride it out a little bit you are being put in this position of where um people are like 
challenging you in the sense, but also I get the sense that the obstacles that are coming towards you, right? Maybe you, you've been saving for this Maui trip, but then some type of expenses happened that, you know, with the money that you were saving to go on that trip, you had to expend somewhere else um, for you. And now maybe for some of you Geminis, I don't know if all of you are questioning this, but I can easily see it would make sense as to if you are, where you're just like, Ugh, like, you know, maybe like, you had to go to the doctors and what have you and had to spend an extra few thousand, right? And now you're just like, well, is there even any point in me saving up for this Maui trip anymore? Is is me moving to Maui even part of like my calling, right? Something happened where it just has you in this place of like potentially challenging and questioning yourself where you're just like, uh, is this even meant for me? Because it just feels as if like for a lot of you Geminis, you just consistently have dealt with a bunch of resistances. No one in your life is being really supportive of this situation. Like I don't feel like Gemini that you have people that you can lean on during this time that makes it easier for you to. It feels like you just have more people like trying to make you just feel bad about yourself or just questioning yourself. You don't really have, it doesn't feel like, and it kind of bums me out, Gemini. It feels as if you guys don't really have that many cheerleaders on your side or people that are really um, <sighs> cheering you on and having keeping you motivated, right? It feels like you are your own cheerleader, support system and everything. And that's just draining, Gemini. So I feel as if this message in this reading is more so coming in as a sense of not losing faith, right? I mean, as the card itself says, have courage, have faith, and protect what you've created and believing in yourself. Believing in the fact, Gemini, where that like that trip to Maui is your calling or whatever, that pat insert, replace Maui with whatever it is for you, Gemini. You are just, stay the course, Gemini. Anything that's those obstacles that you're dealing with right now, I know usually my readings, I will always say it's just like, oh, maybe that resistance is you, the universe trying to uh, reposition you into a different direction and giving you different direction, right? But in this sense, I feel like the resistance that you're dealing with is more so Gemini, a sense of... Uh, trying to build character more than trying to dissuade you from whatever decision or path that you see yourself in that you see yourself your future in as well so now let's get into this two of air for you gemini or this two of swords this card says being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem so i already pulled the clarifiers for this gemini and so the cards that i have for this is the uh, two of Pentacles. This is supposed to be in the upper right. <laughs> the Two of Pentacles. So another. I always find it funny when the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords come together because that's what uh, Two of Air is. Uh, really emphasizing this crossroads where you're just presented with this and Gemini. You're just like, all right, do I continue on the same path, staying the course, and hopefully sometime in the future things start looking up and panning out better for you, Gemini, or do you go with the other option and you're just like, all right, do I just wash my hands clean of it fold my cards and just be done with this thing that i was trying that you were trying to put energy into gemini ten of swords yes gemini you guys i would you guys definitely took a blow recently that's really challenging your faith i feel challenging your faith challenging you in terms of like how badly you want something right is this inconvenience are these obstacles whatever that brings you pain is it is it worth enduring to get to this point, uh, to get to where you want to be, right? And the Ace of Cups comes in of where it's just like, <sighs> Gemini, if you get anything from this reading, please just like write it out a little bit more, right? And normally I don't tell people to just like continue leaning into like more inconveniences and pain. And I know a lot of Geminis are probably listening to this reading being like, Velka, you're crazy. I know oh, we're not doing that, right? I want to take the easier route. But, you know, here's the thing. I don't think I even talked about it with the Temperance card too much. But when Spirit, like this card, when Spirit brings the Temperance card forward, Gemini, this is quite literally Spirit telling you to have patience. I just hit my tripod, I'm sorry. This is quite literally Spirit telling you to have patience and stay in the course, right? Spirit would never tell you to just like wait things out a little bit more if that wasn't for your calling right? Spirit would be like, no, go into this di different direction. But when you have the temperance card coming in like this, Gemini, you get quite literally the direct affirmation that um, this is for you, like wait it out. Your story gets, this literally the epitome, Gemini, of being like, wait it out because your story gets so much better real soon. 
So yeah, with the Ace of Cups, this is confirming to this as well of um, things opening up for you really soon. Ace of Cups is such a beautiful card of um, opportunity being presented to you. And yeah, just straight up, just a lot of blessings. So now let's get into this Three of Air or this Three of Swords for you. This is the great, this card says rather, great sadness, take time to heal and the need to forgive yourself or other people. So I feel like this is more so like a message for my Geminis to be kinder to themselves, right? Um, part of the reason why maybe for some of you Geminis that uh, you're having this temperance card coming in is where it's like, I feel like you guys are being a little bit critical on yourself, Gemini. I feel like you're just like, well, since I'm like, you know, maybe you'll tell yourself like, oh, I'm just a failure. It's no point in me. I'm silly for even thinking that I could accomplish whatever it was, right? We're going to Maui, right? I feel like you need to just be willing to just forgive yourself and just be kinder to yourself and that things are not going to be coming overnight. And just because something's not coming to you in a specific way, or because there's just a little bit of resistance during the, in that on your path to get to point A to point B, doesn't mean that has speaks of anything to do with you, right? I feel like this is like a card of where I feel like a lot of you guys' energies are Gemini, of where it's like a sense of defeat. And that just like bums me out. <laughs> like I'm even noticing even like as I'm continue on, continuing on, like my shoulders are slumping more because I'm just like, ah, oh, you get to see a little bit of cat. Do it. <laughs> Hopefully that made you smile. <laughs> um, yeah, be kinder to yourself, Gemini, because I feel like you're being extremely critical of yourself right now because it's like you guys have just been dealing with that constant resistance. And I know for a while, Gemini, you, this has been a common theme for you guys where it's like you've had to like keep the faith, right? You've had to keep the faith. I, I know from previous weeks, you really haven't had a strong, like, it's like you've continuously had more and more responsibility put on you, but never any type of help. And it's like one of those things where it's like, you see a vision for yourself, you see where it is you need to go and like what you could do. But it's like, because no one else around you is supportive of that, while you're dealing with like all the unknowns and the resistances, um, there's just this sense of like, you know, after so long of a bunch of hearing like the same things and hearing a bunch of like doing with a bunch of, sh bunch of struggles, that tongue twister for me, um, it can get exhausting, right? And I get it. So I'm not trying to, uh, downplay like where it is that you're at gemini because i do totally get it when you deal with like a bunch of resistances at some point you kind of just like screw it like everyone thinks i'm a failure everyone thinks that i am just like whatever right so you might as well just call it up like give up on it but please just write it out gemini please uh the clarifiers i have for that three of swords eight of swords temperance card following you honey uh the moon card coming in the reverse for you as well as the Ace of Cups. So Gemini, something's going to be revealing itself to you. Whenever I see the Moon card in the reverse, this is straight up something about to be coming to light. So I'll use like an example, right? This is very much so like an energy of very, like this is the epitome basically of very unexpected things coming to light, presenting itself to you. And that's why you're wanting to ride this out. I almost said wide. <laughs> that's why you want to wide this out more, uh, a little bit longer, Gemini, because Temperance card coming in attached to this. It's literally spirit saying, the universe saying, your guides, whatever, honey, whatever helps you receive this message, Gemini, please, of directly saying, just like, have patience at this time, Gemini, because something's going to reveal itself to you. I'm just holding it in the upright so you can see the artwork because it's like, bro, why, why you need to see it upside down? You get the point. So yeah, like quite literally, this is very much so an energy of just like waking up to like a fabulous email um, that changes your life greatly, right? That removes these barriers as the Eight of Swords, right? Maybe part of the reason why, Gemini, that you are kind of ready to fold your hands and like wash your hands clean of the situation and give up is because you can't physically see or possibly see how you get from here to Maui anymore, right? Because it's like now that you had to dump a bunch of money into something or what have you, like, you're just like, this is impossible, right? I feel like that's how your head is now at this point, where it's just like, you think it's something that's impossible, and it's just like, ugh, why write it out anymore? Because it's just, there's no way that my life here is going to somehow take, like, there's no way, it's like, Gemini, you think that because your life is in a certain situation, you are just like, there's no way my life is going to be 
in Maui, leaving wherever it was that you're leaving, right? You just feel like you're going to be stuck you're in this kind of environment that just isn't conducive for you, um, which makes sense, especially if you have people in your ear constantly, Gemini, being like, oh, like, no, like, if you're, if you're around people that don't have a vision, that don't, that aren't self-motivated as well, it's extremely draining for those that are, that are emotional people, because it's like, you're constantly being dampened down by those, right? And it feels kind of hopeless. But that moon card in the reverse, that temperance is so powerful. So please listen to that, Gemini. <laughs> um, Ace of Cups coming in here uh, twice for you, reconfirming from that second row of where it's like, whatever gets revealed to you, really beautiful. Like, truly, I want to just tell people in Gemini to look up the meaning of the uh, Ace of Cups, because I really feel like you looking up the meaning will really make me, probably would even make some of you guys emotional, Gemini, if I'm bold enough to say that, and that you'll realize like why it's like how like you understand why this tarot geek over here is geek geeking out for you guys and like it coming in twice and and paired with the cards that it did pair up with like it's it's huge gemini and i know it's such an it's oversaid thing but i really do feel this um now let's get into this page of water this page of cups for you pages represents new energies right this card says a new person entering your life a uh, relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic abilities now i always say gemini cups can also represent opportunities so you know referencing back to that moon in the reverse an opportunity is definitely coming to you that would help get you yeah you know continue on with that analogy right uh, had to spend a bunch of money to go to Maui uh, to do something else that you had to that you would have used to go to Maui. Get the words out, welcome. But something happens, something reveals itself that you have the potential to make that money back and then some, right? Maybe you end up winning a free trip to Maui, right? It's, uh, I hope this Maui reference or analogy makes sense to y'all and doesn't just confuse you guys. I'm such an analogy person to get the point across of what the messages mean, but um, sometimes I'm afraid that it kind of gets lost in the translation so the cards that i pulled for this is for your page of water is the five of swords in the reverse gemini the high priestess card as well as the star card so i want to point something out real quick uh gemini notice this card says heightened psychic abilities right does it even talk about intuitions no it doesn't talk about intuition in specific but heightened psychic abilities um with the high priestess card this is straight up saying like your intuition giving you such a confirmation that your intuition is right on something and that your intuition intuition why am i struggling so much speaking for y'all's reading gemini oh i'm so sorry um but yeah with this your intuition is like a psychic ability or some people would see it as that so these two pairing it just really shows to me where it's just like you're like your gut instinct is right on something gemini right and like when it happens you're just like see i feel like you're gonna be telling people in your life being like see i told like when it happens you're like see i told you and everyone is gonna feel bad and be like see like feel bad in that like they try to dampen your vision just because they didn't have your vision there's a quote i don't remember who says it but it's like something along the lines of being like don't expect other people to understand your vision gemini because god whoever it is i'll just say god for simplicity's sake whoever you identify as your god god didn't give you that vision like god didn't give that vision to anybody else he gave that vision to you and if you were to share that vision for everybody else then that wouldn't be like your calling right that wouldn't be like for your purpose it would be a collective thing there's a reason why god showed that vision just to you because it's meant for just you gemini it, you know other people like with their opinions their perspectives it's none of your business because it has nothing to do with you because it's like that like only thing you need to be referencing to is just like between you and what's feeling right to you and your intuition right listen to your intuition do not allow yourself to be made to feel as if you're being crazy or irrational you absolutely are not right the star card with the five of swords coming in here the star card is the wish fulfillment card right um something that seemed is nearly unobtainable right because the star card is one of those things of where you know how people say like the stars look so close you can touch it that's kind of like the same thing where it's like the star is like the thing that you really want so badly right that's that maui trip right it feels so close but you can't touch it right and you're just like oh, i don't see how i can reach and get that star actually something does happen that it occurs gemini so truly just stay with the faith right 
ignore the ignore the naysayers truly gemini ignore the naysayers because it's like your story gets so much better and you're going to have the, you're absolutely going to be having the last laugh here i really do see that for you gemini so really really beautiful for that uh now gemini i'm gonna start with y'all's uh career and uh love situations right i'm gonna start with your love and social situations first because we have more than just relationships in our life or romantic relationships in our life gemini right so if you're interested in that stick along i'm gonna be starting with your uh love and then we'll get into your financial and career situation so let's see what's going on for your love and social let's see Ooh, all water cards <laughs> So we have the five of water, queen of water, and eight of water. Ooh, this is directly a sign, Gemini, of um, <sighs> moving on from people with peace and love, right? Where it's just like going back to it, where it's like you don't take it personally when people are just like, oh, like give up on that Maui trip. Don't take it personally because from their perspective, Gemini, they're just trying to protect you. They're doing what they think is the best way to love you um, by protecting you. Because uh, again, remember, God didn't give the vision to them. So of course, they're not going to understand like what it is that you see, what it is that you're feeling, right? Because other people don't feel your intuition. Intuition is a personal thing. So it's like, I do feel like you, it's one of those things of being like, all right, I love you guys. I know you're trying your best to just protect me at this time, but mind your business, right? I really do feel like for you guys in your social situations right now, the relationships in your life, you guys gotta need, you kind of need to tell people to be like, mind your business, stop telling me like your perspective on it or what you think I should be doing. Because like all this is, all I see if you don't put some strong boundaries, Gemini, there's going to be some resentment happening in the long run for you where it's like you're not going to be able to see them the same way. And it just, I feel like it's going to start ruining the dynamic of some of the relationships in your life. So set up some strong boundaries and just be like, peace and love, right? I know you're trying to protect me, but stop, all right? <laughs> so now, Gemini, let's get into your financial and career situation this week see what's going on for you guys let's see Ooh, doo -doo. so for you gemini we have the queen of earth the empress card as well as the dreamer card yeah things are looking up for you you're getting some character building right with this empress card coming in here so i really do feel like some type of financial stressor probably did happen but you're going to be taken care of gemini in this dynamic you're going to be taken care of and the way you get taken care of i would probably say especially with this fool card coming in finances are probably going to be coming in or money's rather going to be coming in in a way that you normally wouldn't get funds from right so maybe you like you have like for example like you're used to your nine to five money but there's no other way for you to collect any type of money and that's part of the reason why you're just like i don't see how i could take that trip to maui right so you because it's just like you only know like the money that you can make from your nine to five but this this is quite literally telling me there's something like you're going to be taken care of in a sense where it's like money outside of that nine to five makes it possible for whatever it is that you're trying to obtain so yeah really just keep the faith gemini please keep the faith if that's all you do and all you get from this reading is just to keep the faith and don't allow people to make you feel like you're being the crazy one because you're not you you know in your heart of hearts and in your intuition that thing like uh you're meant to be in maui or whatever it is and things are going to work out and this reading does nothing but reflect that and support that so i hope you found this reading helpful in some way gemini if you found this reading helpful be sure to give this me give me a like and subscribe uh share this video or any of my tarot videos with uh, a friend because i do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs not just gemini and hopefully i can connect with you guys sometime in the near future gemini i love you so much please don't give up you got this i love you